Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here today outside the uh, Knesset at the protest in solidarity with Ukraine. Uh, there's been quite a uh, turnout here and interesting to see, as I'm learning video right now, all the different uh, equipment in use by the various broadcasters here. I've seen wire services like Reuters, also Israeli TV, also foreign TV, uh, lots and lots of uh, pro camcorders. In fact, you can see one right in front of me there. So uh, definitely the, the best tool for the job. Um, guy with boom mics, there's Arabic TV here, uh, you can see someone's doing an interview right there, capturing audio, uh, probably about, I don't know, that like 100 people or so there. In any event, I wanted to show what I decided to bring in the end as I'm big into figuring out rigs right now. This is my gear for the protest. What I did was I put the Canon Vixia HFR, I thought a gimbal would be too cumbersome to bring along, um, so I put my Canon Vixia HFR 800 onto the uh, Scorpion mount. And then I mounted the Zoom H1N field recorder on there. So the reason I did this is because firstly, I can record backup audio. And secondly, if I want to put a line in to use a different microphone or to use a wireless microphone like a wireless lav, I can do that with this microphone. It's pretty versatile. So I've just got, you know, a 3.5 male to male patch cable there running out of the Zoom and into the 3.5 input on the Vixia. And the Scorpion gives me a decent amount of stability. So if I'm doing an interview or just shooting footage, I'm just kind of holding it like this. Obviously, if you're doing stuff in kind of selfie mode, it's not a great setup because of the fact that the lens um, is not very wide on the Vixia. It's just not a great vlogging camcorder. Uh, but this is what I've been using. I've been doing some Vox Pops. I've been doing some, uh, you know, panning shots of the crowd like this. I also took some with my the Femi I'm shooting this particular clip on. So it'll be interesting to see how they compare. In terms of what was useful, the Femi, simple uh, Femi Pam 2 on a um, on a selfie stick or they actually use the Lanzi MT34 actually came in super useful because when you're at an event like this, as you can see, it's just kind of chaos. There's TV crews everywhere, there's poles, booms, and everyone's trying to vie for the, the best shot. So um, that's kind of what I found at the end. You can see your Reuters on that boom there, and they're taking the names of somebody. Here's a huge Russian flag. Here are the people. So uh, it was a really interesting protest to go to. Hopefully I got some somewhat usable shots. This is the first of two protests here today uh, that's going on. There's gonna be another one today at 6 p.m. outside the Jer Jerusalem Municipality Building. Some guys, there's pocket gizmos going on. Another, another person doing an interview here. From what I can see in the crowd, there's a mixture of different nationalities here. There is a large turnout from the local Ukrainian population. I spoke to a few Russians as well. People didn't really want to give their full names, some of them for understandable reasons, as well as just uh, Israelis and people like me, English speakers. I mean, I came to this both to record it, but in the act of recording it, I wanted to do my little tiny, tiny bit to show Ukrainians, to show people outside of Israel that there are people here who are not, uh, who are firstly in solidarity with Ukraine. Um, and secondly, we are not happy with the line that the Israeli government has taken, which has been a very, very tepid line. As some guy said to me, they're kind of trying to play both sides. They're trying not to alienate Putin too far because Israel needs Russia's tacit support when it goes in to do airstrikes in uh, Syria. So the, you know. Putin leg out down. Putin leg out down. My name is Chen, and uh, I'm here on a demonstration against the war in Ukraine. Uh, for support of Ukraine, for support of the civil society.